Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. I got my pretty little hat on because it's just a teeny bit chilly, but today is going to be a beautiful, warm, sunny day, so I'm going to get some stuff done. I need to, well, I need to transplant some herbs because I need the soil from that bucket or big tote or whatever. I'm going to put it in the Hugo Culture garden bed, and I've already added some stuff to it, so I'm going to show you that in a little bit here. I need to rake some leaves. I need to add some more bedding to the chicken coop. So, yeah, it's going to be a busy day today, and I'm excited to get going. Remember that blue tub that was right there? Well, I took out the sage and just put it here and the rosemary over here. Some people say they'll grow back, so I guess we're going to find out. I don't know if you remember what I've got in here so far. There's wood on the bottom, then some leaves, and then some dirt. And the most recent layer um, is some of the stuff from the chicken yard. I have scooped it up, put it over the top, now I'm going to shovel some dirt in. That layer's done. I'm surprised that that soil covered the entire surface. And yep, I have left a few of the little sticks, partially broken down, twigs and whatnot in there. Next step is more leaves. I think that's a nice layer of leaves. So now, all it needs is for it to rain. I think it's going to rain in a couple of days, so I don't think I'm going to use any of my water to put on top of that. And also down in there, I've got eggshells. I've got coffee grounds. Um, I think after I do, uh, right before I do the next layer of soil, I'm going to put down some more coffee grounds and some eggshells, put the soil on top, and uh, call it a day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put these things over the top. I don't mind the chickens getting in there and pooping. I just don't want them kicking all the stuff out. So we're going to cover it up with this. Oh, there you are. They love coming in here and chilling out. So I made them a little mess nesting box out of cardboard. Maybe if I put it down on the ground, they'll go in it. I don't know. They should be old enough to be laying eggs. So I'm, I don't know if they're laying them out in the woods. But uh, yeah, I need to get a proper nesting box for them. Doesn't seem like they wanted to use the one in the van. There. I put it down on the ground. I put that little thing up there, little triangle thingy, so hopefully they won't try and get up on top and roost, but I put it on top of some styrofoam. I don't know. Maybe they'll use it. Maybe they won't. Look at I got my girlfriend sitting down right basically in between my feet. Just chilling out. All the other chickens, well, yep, all the other chickens are in the chicken yard. And I don't know if you can see through the mesh, but that flock block is basically gone. They absolutely, oops, did Romeo find them something good? They absolutely love that flock block. I think that there is like a, a four inch block of it left. So that was really awesome. Oh, and check this out. I cut myself, feel sorry for me guys. And it, actually I cut it a couple days ago, but it looks like it's getting infected. So I put some antibiotic ointment on it and hopefully it'll get better. <sighs> It is an absolutely glorious day outside today. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I can't believe it's winter, basically. I mean, is it winter yet or is it still fall? Anyhow, um, I hear Mr. Lucas with his chainsaw. Um, I heard him taking his tractor out back behind his property with a trailer, so I figured he was probably gonna take down this one tree he's been wanting to cut up. And I went there and he had, um, he had, got, he had gotten it notched out and stuff, but it didn't fall right, and it was leaning against some other trees. So I asked him if I could help with anything. He says, ah, I'll, I, I'm fine. So I don't know. I, I, I want to be able to help him, but he's got to let me help him. So uh, he went and got his truck and, and a chain, so he's going to yank that sucker. Well, actually, I know he's already done it because I can hear him back there with the chainsaw now. So hopefully, once he gets the wood up on his trailer, or once I hear the chainsaw stop, I'm gonna go over there and see if I can help him load the wood onto his trailer, and then maybe he'll let me split some of his wood for him. I don't know, that would be super awesome if I could do that. We'll just have to wait and see. Mr. Lucas is very independent. He is so capable. He just gets stuff done, and he doesn't ask for any help. I wanna be able to help him, but I don't wanna be a nuisance. You know what I mean? I don't wanna be a nuisance, so. Well, I do know that I still have to add some more bedding to the chicken coop um, because it's starting to compact down again like it's supposed to, and, and they're kicking some of it out outside, which is fine. Uh, but I need to add some more. I, I know that they have been going in, excuse me, um, they've been going into the little, the little wooden coop thingy that I am hoping they'll use as a nesting box. 
because they've been going in there and kicking bedding out. So um, I don't know if they're trying to like make it into a nest or something. So I'm going to put some more bedding in it, some more fresh bedding. And I, I really would love it if they would just go in there and lay their eggs in the morning. Here's the thing though. When, when I come out here, uh, I put their feet out in the morning and then I open, open their little cage and let them free range all day long basically. So they could be laying eggs everywhere. I went and looked all through the woods uh, in my neighbor's property, through the woods over there, and I haven't seen any eggs yet, but they are old enough to start laying eggs. Um, and I was watching Bobblehead Homestead, and he said his lake horns are laying eggs, and they're like a, about a week or two young, uh, older, or yeah, younger than mine. So, Jeff, um, <laughs> I'm hoping they'll start laying soon. I know there's not a whole lot of daylight, and they need that to stimulate their hormonal thingy so that they can start laying eggs um but i haven't seen any eggs yet so i don't know if they're just hiding them really good way way out in the woods i've been looking underneath the tiny house i've been checking the shed and that shed you guys um i'm getting motivated to get that really cleaned up even more i've been kind of like moving stuff to the side and whatnot but the chickens love to go in there i mean it would make an, a lovely second chicken coop but if i could fortify that more that might even make a better goat pen. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Wholesome Roots has got me really motivated to do goats. <laughs> you know, take care. Don't do goats. It's like you're going to, you know, you just get a few goats and throw them some feed and call it a day, right? Well, no. There's a lot to consider. So, um, she said I could reach out to her if I need to learn stuff and so yes, my dear, I will be reaching out to you because I need to know about goats. Anyhow, so that's a possibility because that's, that shed, although it is not enclosed on all sides, which I could easily do. I could get some, see that, uh, that plywood over there that I'm using for like a temporary porch? Um, I could get a bunch of panels like that and put them up. Um, there's a number of things I could put up. Pallet wood, um, I just haven't been able to find any free pallets. So, I don't know. I really want goats, but I also want more chickens, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Anyhow, I'm going to keep listening in and see when Mr. Lucas is finished finishing his chainsawing, and then when he pulls his truck back, and I'm going to ask him if he wants me to help him split some wood. Get my fiskers out there and just split that wood. Oh, yeah. Mr. Lucas just got done sawing, and I heard him pull the truck over back to his house, so I'm going to see if he'll let me split some wood. So, Mr. Lucas, what do you think of my axe swinging skills? Number one. Number one. <laughs> Look at that. We got that done so far. Got a little bit more. Seth and I were out here splitting it. And this is really, really hard. And these logs are bigger. So, but we're getting it done. Check this out. I come back from peeing over at Mr. Lucas' house. And all the chickens are sitting on my chair. All right, girls. Of course, there's always got to be one up on my porch. I'm going to have to do something about this because they are pooping all over my porch. I have to clean it up every single day. They love it up on my porch. Okay. Okay, Mama. I told you. You have to get off of my chair. That is okay if you poop on this garden bed. Please do poop on my garden bed. Of them. What's up, Judy? What's up, girlfriend? Oh, we gotta get your other frisbee. She keeps throwing this off into the woods and then she finds it, she brings it back. Look at her. I'm not gonna let her do that with her new with her new one that Miss Donna sent. Crazy dog. Well, it's been a fun day today. It really has. I'm glad I got to help Mr. Lucas. And he let me try one of the bigger axes. I am unsuccessful with the big axes. They're heavy and I just don't have the swing down. Maybe I'll try it again soon. I don't know, but what's Miss Judy doing? She wants, she wants to play with the chickens. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.